Trying to decide what the best team for Arena is and Injustice 2 Mobile is pretty much impossible. There's so many different situations that usually whenever a certain situation pops up, you're just going to use one certain team. And then when another situation pops up, you're going to use a different team. Every single team has different uses and that's great. But the funny thing is that whenever we hop onto raids, I think we can all agree that the League of Anarchy team is just the best overall because Last Life Joker just does a ton of damage, especially when you put him with Gorilla Grodd or P1. And even though usually people won't have heartbreaker harley quinn in the team with entangling poison ivy and last laugh joker i think we can all agree that even if the third slot was filled with heartbreaker harley quinn they would still be the most op team in raids because they they just do a ton of damage but again in arena we don't really have that written down because there's so many different situations so i decided to form a team with three of the best team characters in injustice 2 mobile now you're going to notice that i didn't add last laugh joker and i think we all know why he really does need entangling poison ivy to help him out in terms of damage and I also didn't add anybody from the Suicide Squad team because, well, the Suicide Squad team just sucks. So that just leaves me with the Multiverse team, the Batman Ninja team, and also the Justice League team. Now, I think we can all agree that Multiverse, Armored Supergirl, Batman Ninja Catwoman, and Justice League Cyborg are the best characters for their teams. And because they are the best characters in their team, I'm just going to go ahead and call this team that I'm forming right now the quote-unquote best team in the game. Not necessarily the best team in the game, but just consist of the best characters of the best teams in the game. Now, I'm not going to lie, I actually had a little bit of fun playing with this team. However, I strongly don't recommend it. Obviously, you're going to build your teams to be working with the respective characters of that team. So whenever you throw that out of the loop, it just doesn't work that great. And it could be a little bit confusing, especially if you're really reliant on two characters for your other teams. You know, you might forget, oh snap, I don't have that other character. I just have this character what am i going to do now so it can kind of get a little bit confusing and it can throw you off track but i still had a lot of fun the fact that i was able to use multiverse armored supergirl special one and special three with the basic attack hits the op basic attack hits with justice league cyborg and the immortality of catwoman i felt like i was about to get banned by nether realm for having unusual gameplay nah i'm just joking they would ban you just for logging into your account because the server sucked that much. But anyways, I think I'm going to do this a little bit more often. I actually had this idea that maybe I can go into like a random generator website, throw in all of the characters that I have for all of my teams. They don't have to be in a specific team like the Multiverse team or the Batman Ninja team. It can be like my King of Atlantis team or anything like that. And just throw them all, throw their names into like a random generator and see which are like the first three that it picks. And then the first three that it picks, that's going to be my new team. I think that would be super, super fun. Um, I'm kind of tired of just grinding out the game and just, you know, using the same teams over and over again. Yeah, it's cool because you could do a lot of damage, but, you know, it's there's a reason why there's so many different characters with so many different passives. You have to kind of enjoy yourself, and doing crazy things like these just keeps the game a little bit more fresh. Anyways, I'm just going to leave you guys with the gameplay. I'm going to work on another video that I'm planning on posting later on today. Um, I'm working on two really great videos. I'm not going to lie. these This is it, Chief. This is it. I'm really excited for these. One of the videos is actually going to take me a very long time to make because it actually, and spoiler alert, um, it contains every single character in the game. All 90-ish characters in the game. I'm going to go over them. Um, it's not going to be like a build guide or anything like that. Uh, I'm not going to spill the beans just yet, but it will involve every single character. Anyways, I'm going to get to work. I'll see you guys later, and I hope you enjoy the video.
Perfect.